So here's a recording when I approached the Salvation Army staff um, and the pile of clothes that were just scattered all out on their parking lot. This is how the conversation went down. Uh, yeah, I had a job interview today at the, uh, you, know, you know the uh, tilt at, at the mall? Oh, no, at Cherry Bell Mall. Okay. Yeah, I have a job interview there today. Okay. So I'm, uh, I gotta go there. Hey, how are you? Good, I was asking him if I could, uh, if I could, if I could look through the clothing. Sorry. I can't? I have that voucher, I can't. Yeah, it's not my property. It's salvation on me. Yeah. Um, any word on that voucher? No one else calls me. My suggestion is to keep calling. Just keep calling? I always keep calling. Well, They lost, uh, they, they, they lose out on vouchers. I mean, because I, I know for a fact that people who are donating these clothes, uh, wouldn't want some, like, the, the purpose is to donate them, you know? And, and so for people who are less fortunate, like, they're, they're donating them. And, and well, they're donating them so they can make money to help people who are on drugs. We have rehab centers for men, for women. We have homeless shelters. We have food programs. This is what we want to support. This is what we support. People think we get the stuff for free and we shouldn't sell it for the price we do, but this money goes for a lot of good causes, not to mention the overhead that it costs us to rent this building, which is astronomical, all the pay. I mean, people don't have this stuff is touched numerous times. Numerous times a day this stuff is touched from here to the warehouse, to the store, on the floor. And a lot of people don't understand all that's involved with the production side of all of this. No, I, I, I do understand the logistical side of this, but um, let's say that she, let's say that she was okay with, with um, hey ma'am, would I be able to go through your belongings before I'm homeless and see if I could like, use anything? I mean, whatever. I, yeah. Well, she's saying that once. Sir, I can't have you on Salvation Army property asking these questions to donators. Well, I'm, I'm homeless and I, I don't know. I, I understand that. Thank you for your Yes, you're welcome. Okay, so. I gave you the phone number for the voucher. I did. So you need to call them. When you call them, you'll get the voucher. They will help you with food. They help you with clothes. They'll even help you with the there's place no, there's to live. No, I called in front of you and there's no voucher. There is vouchers. People come to my store with them all the time. But I was on the phone with them at at, your, at this store. They were out of funds. I don't know why. Well, they're, it's, they're out of funds. But um, there's nothing I can do at store level about that because I have protocol to follow. Today is the 2nd of August. And, and your other funds. staff member did not said he didn't care if I went through it. He doesn't have the right to tell you that. Well, I'm the store manager. He so, doesn't have the right to tell you that. So you're going to see me going through the uh, the clothing and, and then you're going to call the police because you, you didn't get the right information. You know what I'm going to do right now? What's that? I'm going to ask you to leave Salvation Army property. Okay, Julie. So I'm asking you to leave. I've given you all the tools you need that are given to me to give to you. I'm sorry that you're homeless. I'm sorry that you're going You're not it. sorry about it. You don't have any idea how you, I feel about anything. Obviously, because if you felt, if you felt Sir, the I right way. Sir, I cannot do that. I have cameras all over the It's building. not a, yeah, okay, Julie. Okay, and who, okay, that's, that's, not, it's not against the law, Julie. And I'm walking away. So you, you're threatening to arrest me now? Because you called the police? Alright. So she's saying that she's going to now call the police. And the police here will arrest you. Um... For, for just asking for clothing. They will say that you're causing a problem and, and they will say that you're, uh, uh, that you're causing a problem and you're disturbing the peace. Um, and the police will then put you into jail here in this county. Um, and, and it's a complete violation. 
Um, it's, it's not okay with anybody in this country. I know for a fact. And, um, and once again, you did hear her say that this was for her overhead. And, um, and it's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's literally the, the worst thing that we can do to human beings is, is to, to think that we're helping and to acknowledge the problem and to still believe that, that we are helping when that problem still exists. She, she thought, I mean, she knew there was no voucher. She said they're doing, they'll help you, but you need the voucher. And she believes in her mind that, that, that there will be help. And I just called again, and there's no help. There has to be a change.